Do you think then, looking at the overall picture of, of Mo Salah, and this might be a bit of a controversial question, Jose, so don't have a go at me for asking you this. Um, do you think that Mo Salah actually could have a better Premier League legacy over someone like Harry Kane? Oh, difficult question. Very difficult, difficult question. question. Why, yeah, but why are you saying that? Because Salah played for Liverpool and Harry Kane for, for Tottenham and has more trophies. Salah, that's what, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, it's, uh, in terms of his legacy, do you think that Salah has a bigger Premier League legacy over Harry Kane? I think overall, in people's eyes and maybe fans, let's say fans, I think probably yes. For me, obviously, it's not the same, but it's true that Salah has been very successful with Liverpool. He's won really every single trophy possible, and Harry is known at the end when you finish your career. And luckily for Harry as well, it's what people look at. You know, but if you ask me in terms of ability, Harry could have played for anyone. You know, that's the reality in any team in the world. But he's played for Tottenham. He's not been obviously lucky enough to win stuff, maybe because the ambitions that he had, they weren't the same ambition of the club. It looks like they are in the same way now with, with Conte. Let's see what happened with Conte. But if, if you ask me, yeah, I believe so because. I believe Liverpool is a bigger club than Tottenham, with all my respect to Brad, obviously. <laughs> but I believe it's, 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 it's a lot bigger club and it's one trophy. That's the main thing. At the end, that's what makes the difference. It's one trophy with Liverpool. Yeah, but the thing is, when you talk about legacy, obviously two players, uh, different players, one's an inside forward, the other one's more of a, a striker that sometimes drop deep. Brad, I mean, in terms of legacy, I mean, Harry Kane play, maybe you would argue a slightly weaker side if you look at some of the individuals around them the past yeah. five years or so compared to the players that Salah have played. On that argument, would you say that Harry Kane has a better Premier League legacy because he played in a weaker side compared to Mo Salah? I, I think domestically, people in, in the North and in Liverpool are going to, especially that support Liverpool, are going to say Salah. Um, people in the South and especially supporters, uh, people that support England and, uh, and Tottenham will say Kane. Um, globally, I would probably say Salah because Liverpool's name globally and the global recognition and winning the, champ winning the Champions League and um, being involved um, uh, in, in different areas of the, of the world that maybe um, Harry Kane isn't. Um, the the fact of the matter is uh, Harry Kane will go down as as a Tottenham legend no matter what happens from now on to the end of his career. Harry Kane, I agree with Jose, he could have played at any club. If he was at Man City, he would be scoring the goals that uh, that Holland is scoring now. Um, Daniel Levy is uh, is a fantastic chairman. Uh, he, he 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 does what is right for Tottenham Hotspur. There's only it's the only club I ever played for where the players have no power. The power comes from the board on on, uh, on purchases, sales, loans, etc. Um, Daniel Levy has uh, felt that he hasn't gotten uh, the uh, the amount of money he wanted, or he, he just simply will not and does not want Harry Kane to go. I know Harry very very well, and Harry is the type of player that uh, that if he's not moving, he'll know it and he'll be the best uh, best version of Harry Kane he can for Tottenham Hotspur. If he did move, he'll be the best version of Harry Kane for whatever club he plays for. I think they both go down as Premier League legends. Um, and a uh, really difficult question to uh, to answer. And they're also, uh, uh, we've also touched on, they are in slightly different positions. But they'll both go down as um, as legendary figures with the clubs.